Hi, I'm Lori. And I'm Scout. We're super excited to build this Day Lodge Bat House kit from Bat Conservation Management. We brought the cordless drills, but the kit comes with all the parts. What does it come with, Lori? We have the front with our bat-shaped vent, the back that also has a vent, we have our two roost panels that are scratched on both sides. We have our two sides, our roof block that acts as a heat sink. We have our black roof that's made from recycled plastic. We have our glue, all the screws we need. We've laid down some paper and we're ready to start. The fastest way to put the day lodge together is upside down. It makes it easier to reach the screws. We'll start by laying out the sides upside down with the flat edge towards us and then the roof block in between them like this. Bats need a roof that gets to 100 degrees in the spring. So Lori is adding glue to these seams so they will be airtight and super strong. This is the back of the bat house. The inside face has been roughened in random directions to provide footholds. If a bat house is too smooth on the inside, bats won't use it. You can always add more scratches if necessary with a utility knife. Now we're going to lay the front down nice and even and set these nine screws. comes out the sides, that just means you used enough. Just wipe off the extra with a damp paper towel. Next we're going to flip our bat house and then we will add some glue around the edges. <laughs> this is the front. Make sure the inside face is roughened and laid down so the bat vent is towards the bottom of the bat house. Remember, we are building this upside down, so at the moment, our bat vent looks upside down. Don't screw it down wrong side up. The front will go on with nine more screws, just like the back did. It's time for the plastic lumber roof. I'll hold this up just so it's easy to see. First, add adhesive across the top. Then, just center the roof so it overhangs on all sides and screw it down. <laughs> it's time to add the roost crevices. Start with the back panel and slide it in until it hits the roof and then pull it back about an inch. Don't put it tight up against the roof because bats love to climb between crevices and can even avoid a predator that way. The panels are held in with a screw on each side. It might help to use a long drill bit. Put the other panel in the same way, being careful to leave about an inch up at the top. Next, we will stain or paint the bat house. It can be about any color you wish, but it must be a dark shade if you are in cool climates or high elevations. This helps the roost get warm enough that the mother bats will raise their young. If you're in a warm climate, like any of the Gulf Coast states, a light shade is okay. For more sighting and installing tips, see our other manuals and videos at batmanagement.com. While we are waiting for the bat house to dry, let's assemble the mount kit. The mount kit is an upper and lower mounting bracket, a perch panel, and some hardware. Lay out the brackets face down. Take the perch panel with the roughened side down, square up one end with the brackets. Secure with two screws near the corner. Repeat for the other mounting bracket. Now the mounting bracket is ready to install on a post or building using either lag bolts or outdoor deck screws, depending on your kit. 
Before we attach our bat house to the mount kit, we need to make sure that we scratch the back of the bat house. So this way the bats will have a foothold when they come out of the rear vent. The mount kit will first get attached to a building or a pole. Then the day lodge will fit right on top of the mount. It is super secure because we will use six inch long timber lock screws through the front, which pins the entire bat house to the mount. Because these timber locks go through the solid roof block, you might pre-drill part way just to start them straight. Two more outdoor screws can go in the landing area near the bottom. This mount is really clever because bats can exit out the back of the bat house, cool off in the crevice behind, and still be protected from predators. This mount actually adds another roost crevice to all of our bat houses. Remember, after you install your new bat house, it's tradition to say, Just, just add, add bats. bats for good luck. Visit batmanagement.com for more batty how-to videos.